Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Liz of Chicago Loud Luxury Makeup. For today's Sunday morning get ready with me, we're gonna do a full face of Hourglass. So if you're curious to see what products I use to create this look, keep watching. Start with, we're gonna use the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Primer. I've been using this now, I would say about three weeks, and so far I'm really enjoying it. It's just a cream, and then I rub it together and I place it primarily on my cheeks and my forehead which is where I tend to get the oiliest. I did pick up a new foundation. Um, so I got the Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation. So here is the packaging. I just picked this up from Sephora and I have shade natural. I did go into the store and have them shade match me. So she did shade match me. This is the shade that she chose and it again is shade natural. It does say to shake the bottle Use a foundation brush for the most seamless finish. The formula is highly concentrated. Only a small amount is needed for best results. Prep complexion with the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. Well, I used the Vanish Primer, so hopefully it still works. Um, but I am really excited to try it. They do have a cream foundation stick. Those are not my favorite types of foundation, so I, I did go with the liquid. And I apologize if you can hear anything. It is pouring down rain here in Chicago. Just pouring. <laughs> Beautiful spring day here in Chicago. So I'm going to just do one pump. And you can see I haven't even, it's, so it is liquidy. I was not expecting that. So I'm just going to take a little bit with my BK Beauty 101 and we will apply it. So I did go for a darker shade since I do have a little bit of a tan right now, and as we go into summer, I will probably keep this tan. This shade would not work for me in the winter though. It would definitely be too dark. I'm really, really impressed with the coverage, with the finish. So this side, my right side has the foundation and my left side does not. And you can see how like flawless the side with the foundation is. I am impressed. So right off the bat, it reminds me of the Tom Ford Traceless Soft Matte Foundation. Just in the application, the finish, that is what it reminds me of. You can see it's a really liquidy foundation, but because it said a little goes a long way, I'm trying not to use a lot, but I got, I got way too much up there. There is the foundation. So far, I'm really impressed. I wasn't sure what to think. You know, I've never tried an hourglass foundation before, so this was a total first impression, but so far I'm impressed. Now we're going to go in with this teeny tiny <laughs> miniature concealer that I got. Um, and again, uh, it's the Vanish Airbrush Concealer and I have shade Cedar. Now I remember last time I used this, I used way too much. So I am taking the littlest amount. I have one hourglass brush and it is the Hour Brush Concealer Brush. So let's go ahead and use that. Now, I did pick this concealer up when I did not have a tan, so it's definitely a brightening concealer. It definitely brightened my under eyes. So this concealer brush is very, very similar to the BK Beauty one, the A506. They're both shaped very similar with the angled kind of dome. I do like the concealer brush. It's not that I don't like it, I just tend to use my foundation brush because it's quicker. That's the only reason. <laughs> I mean, honestly, there's no other good reason. Now I'm gonna prime my eyes. This was also a new product that I picked up during the Sephora sale. This is the Hourglass Veil Eye Primer. And I have been using it and I really do like it. So I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit out and then I'll apply it to both eyes. We will go ahead and let that sit while I do my face makeup. I did 
pick up the Hourglass Veil Powder. I have been using it. Um, I really like it. It, I haven't noticed any, any issues with it. And it is a translucent powder, so it's not going to add any um, color to the face. For bronzer, I'm going to mix two different palettes. So I have this shade right here, and this is in the Ambient Lighting Edit Palette Shade Universe. And the bronzer is called Glistening Bronze Light. So I have that bronzer. And then I also have this palette that has a bronzer right here. And this is the Ambient Lighting Edit Palette in Sculpture. And the bronzing shade is called Natural Bronze Light. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my Chikohoto F01 and I'm just gonna go into both shades. I thought about getting like a standalone bronzer. And I was like, well, I have both of these. I don't need, I don't need another. I would use it once or twice and then it would go, it would just sit there. For blush today, I'm gonna to use this shade right here. And it is called Vibrant Flush. I'm taking my Chikohoto KZ number four. I love the Hourglass blushes. They are so pretty. I definitely would say that that is Vibrant. It is really, really pink, but I do really like it. I think it's really pretty. It's kind of like an understated palette that I didn't, I got it, I liked it, and then I never reached for it. And it wasn't until this year that I picked up this new one during the holiday collection that I was like, oh my God, I had forgotten how much I loved the Hourglass products. Here, I'm gonna use this shade right here and it is called Supernatural Strobe Light. And it is a gorgeous, gorgeous highlight. Oh, I love it. I'm using the Sonia G Designer Pro. I think it is a gorgeous highlight. For mature skin i really really do all right so now let's get into this eye look i did go ahead and pick up another one of the single shadows so now i have five i'm gonna swatch them all because i haven't swatched them yet i have no idea what kind of look i'm going to create what the shadows look like so if i swatch them it'll give you an idea and me an idea right, so this is the newest one that i got and it is called fox and it is a shimmer so there's fox So that is just a champagne shimmer. Beautiful. The next one I have is Alt, and that is a satin. So this is like a very light taupe. The next one is Ion, and it is a metallic. So that's kind of like a copper. I thought it looked more brown, but swatched, it looks more copper. Next we have Elm, which is another metallic. So that's more of like a bronze. Then last is Web, and that is a shimmer. So those are the five shades that I have, and we're just gonna play. See what kind of look we can create using these five shades. I'm gonna start with the Sonia G Classic Crease, and I'm gonna go into Alt, which is a satin. We're just gonna take that into the crease and use that as a base. I don't know that we will use all five shades today, but we'll Use as many as we can. 
And this is my only satin. I think I probably should have gotten another satin because all the others are metallics and shimmers. I'm gonna take Elm into the outer corner with a Sony G Mini Booster. Now I did try and add these shadows to my Z palette. They are not magnetic on the back, so they wouldn't, they didn't stay. So if I wanna put them in to my Z palette, I would have to get some sort of like um, magnet tape, which I'm not opposed to doing, it's just more work. So I might end up just going back and getting <laughs> the five pan palette from Hourglass. I do think that these shadows are blending really, really nice. I don't have any fallout whatsoever. I'm just taking that classic crease and just blending right now. Take a Sony G Worker Pro and go into Fox, which is that shimmer. And we're gonna put that on the inner corner. I feel like I'm definitely gonna have to go back and get some more shades. I'd like some more satins, I think. Shimmers weren't bad. So again, I'm just blending with that classic crease and just diffusing everything. Now I'm gonna go in with Web, which is a shimmer. I'm going in with the classic crease because I don't want it to be super pigmented. I want it, I want to go in a little bit lighter. But I do want to add a little bit of dimension to the outer corner, so I am just placing it up on the outer corner. So I'm just taking that Worker Pro and just taking whatever is left on the brush and running it underneath my brow bone as a highlight. And then again, going in with my classic crease to blend. I'm really impressed, so I'm gonna scoot in just a little bit and show you the eye look. They were really, really easy to work with super super easy to work with i do see very very little fallout and that is actually from this lightest shimmer here this fox but i didn't have any other fallout so now we're going to go ahead and line my eyes i do have a new hourglass eyeliner so this is a brand new product this is the voyeur waterproof gel eyeliner and i got shade cave and that is a brown shade but also pick this up since my last unboxing so here is what the pencil looks like and you do have the brown tip to kind of show you and that's what it looks like oh it goes on really really easily it reminds me of um the mark jacobs gel liners so i'm going to go ahead and use that i got a new mascara as my gift with purchase from beautylish so this is the Caution Extreme Link Mascara from Hourglass. So we'll use that. But before we do that, we're gonna do my brows. You guys know I don't typically do my brows. I did get a brow product from Beautylish, so let's just give it a try and see what it's all about. And it's teeny, teeny, tiny. That's good, since I don't really do my brows very much. And hopefully the color works. I think it's like a perfect match. Like perfect, you can't even tell. And the shade that I got is called Soft Brunette. Yeah, I mean, I think it's like a perfect match, <laughs> except the handle is so short. That's it, I don't really know. <laughs> I'm the worst at doing my brows. Um, I don't really know that it made any difference, but 
we did them we used it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off camera to finish this look with the eyeliner and the mascara and then we'll be back and I'll give you guys my final thoughts here is the finished look using all hourglass today so far I am really really impressed I think the eyeshadows went on so easily they blended so nicely I'm really really happy that I picked them up I definitely want to get more I know they're expensive um but I really do um enjoy them and I would like to pick up some more satins I don't know I just really wasn't paying attention to the formula I was just kind of looking at shades so I do think I need a couple more satins in my collection the foundation is really nice it has it went on beautifully and I do think that it is a good color match. You guys already know I love the blushes, the powders, like they're amazing. A new eyeliner surprised me and I'm here for it. Love it. Absolutely love it. And I'm really, really happy I picked it up. It's so dark brown. You can't even tell that it's brown and not black. So I don't even think I would need to go back to get the black, but so far I'm really impressed. The mascara was just okay. If I'm having to pick something that I'm not impressed with, I mean, the mascara is fine. I liked it, but it's not like it was so much better than any other mascara that I have. Here's the wand. And like I said, I mean, I like it and it's, it's just fine. One thing that is not hourglass is my lipstick. <laughs> as I was getting everything out and ready to film, I realized I don't have an hourglass lipstick. So then I went online. I was like, okay, do I need to get one? And nothing really like there wasn't when I was looking for the lipsticks, there wasn't anything that I just had to have. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like hourglass as a brand? I know there's been some controversy over the years, taking all of the controversy out of it. The products themselves I absolutely love 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 they're really really nice for older mature skin I think the blushes the highlighter the bronzers the powder it just it doesn't emphasize texture and in fact it does just the opposite I think it blurs the texture I think it just really really looks good on mature skin so I highly recommend their powders their blushes their highlighters, you know, all their powder products. And so far I'm really, really liking the eyeshadows as well. I know there was controversy with the eyeshadows because everyone said they were so expensive. Okay. They're not any more expensive than all the other luxury makeup I have in my collection. So, you know, it is what it is. And I'm not for one second, like mad that I picked them up. Um, you know what I just saw? I have this <laughs> scattered light shadow sitting here. And I don't know. I just want to really use it. So this is what I have. I have, it's called Reflect. And I'm just going to go in with my finger and just add it on top and see what happens. I like it. I think it really kind of tones down the white. It's really pretty. So let me swatch it for you. And this is the only shade that I have in these scattered lights. It's a glitter eyeshadow. Yeah, and the shade is Reflect, but I like it. So it was just kind of last minute thrown in there. I saw it sitting there, I got it out, and then I totally forgot about it. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.